Hey everybody, this is David and I am going to be talking about Gotham Episode 7, Penguin's Umbrella. So let's start with the opening of this episode. Gordon is in trouble from last week because everybody is finding out he didn't kill Oswald Cobblepot, aka the Penguin, and the mob is out to get him, Harvey wants to strangle him, all this shit is going down, and Gordon's life is going to be a disaster. Man. <laughs> so, wow. Okay, so there was a lot going on in this episode, I think. Um, this, the stuff with Gordon was really... Um, it was intense. It was pretty intense today because you didn't know what Falcone was going to do. You didn't know what Maroney was up to. You didn't know what any of these guys, you knew Falcone was going to go down on him hard until we find out at the very end of the episode, which I'll get into later, but going into it all, it was, it was really cool how, it was really good how, you know, Gordon really dealt with the whole situation. And I'm glad, um, what's her name, uh, Montoya and Alan, they they helped Gordon after last week, you know, after they, they tried bringing him in and, and all this shit was going down and it, it was good to see them redeem themselves a little bit, especially since, you know... Renee Montoya is supposed to be on Gordon's side in the comics anyways. So it, it was kind of cool to see that redemption a little bit. And in that, you know, Gordon was talking to Bruce. That, that scene with Bruce was really well done too, where um, Gordon went to Bruce and told him, these guys are going to take care of you just in case anything happens to me. Like, you you felt like Gordon's life was literally in danger in this entire episode. And then even at the, Mar the not Maroni, Falcone house, uh, when Falcone was, um, had Gordon and, and Bullock, you know, and, and he told him, uh, look, we have your wife, and Victor Zaz is going to kill her if you bring me in to prison you know and for a while i thought he was lying but gordon trusted him for some reason and for whatever that reason was his instincts were right because holy cow falcone had barbara um it, it was it was an intense episode it was really well done and really well paced i really enjoyed it all the way through Victor Zaz, let me go back on him. He was a pretty cool villain in this episode. It was finally cool seeing a version of Victor Zaz on screen. Uh, our very small glimpse of him in Batman Begins obviously didn't do him justice. So it was finally good to see the character really well done and very creepy too uh, in this episode. Especially when he was like cutting his uh, skin. The guy's clearly emo. <laughs> And uh, yeah, he was he was good. Hopefully, we'll see him again back. Uh, he'll be interesting, especially since he wanted to kill Gordon there at the end. I thought, like, wow, he's he's gonna come back one day. He'll he wants to finish that job, and um, yeah, so that's gonna be cool. And then Penguin, Penguin, you know, my favorite character on this show is definitely the Penguin. Uh, you know, he is a manipulator, man. He has. You know, ah oh man, even that little twist at the end there, I thought I think he even has Maroni under his under his shoe. So, I I think the Penguin is playing everybody really good, really interesting. He's definitely climbing his way up, like uh, Fish Mooney. You know, everybody's like disrespecting him, and even Maroni thinks he's like. You know, he's my little henchman. I ha I have him under his my boot, you know? But it, it, it's actually Penguin has Maroni under his boot. So, um it's it's really it's really cool <laughs> to see where all of this is going and Penguin is the best character in this show manipulating everybody. I even think he's manipulating Maroni despite that ending there, that twist ending where we find out in episode 1 Maroni and Penguin plotted out that Gordon wouldn't kill him 
and that Gordon was going to let him free and all that stuff that happened happened. Penguin was right. And this is why Maroney is really working with the Penguin. Now, whether they will stay together or not, that's going to be another answer. But I am very excited to see where this is all leading us up to. So, man, what am I going to rate this episode? I'm giving this a 9 out of 10. I really enjoyed it. I thought it was one of their strongest episodes so far. Um, there were some little cheese moments here and there, but, you know, aside, it wasn't too much to really drag down the other. I was really enjoying the episode a lot. Um, definitely can't wait for next week to see where this is all leading us because this season, you know, is is getting better and better. It had a pretty good start in an okay start in the beginning but it seems to be getting better and better especially if you're a batman fan you're loving where maybe some of these characters are going there's some characters that are better than others but definitely the today's episode was definitely one of the strongest probably my favorite episode so far so until next week next week we got an all new episode let's see what other revelations will come to pass so <laughs> until next week